Okay, I want to look more closely at uh, stepping. And when I say stepping, I mean the minimum movement um, possible by the motor. And to understand this, what I'm doing is I'm, I have a loop that's sending out a uh, varying signal. And the way these work is like based on a pulse width determines the position of the motor. And so I'm stepping through uh, making that pulse slightly bigger in increments of one microsecond at a time. Um, okay. And I'm changing that position every, or that pulse width every 100 milliseconds. So what does this mean? It means that Every 100 milliseconds, there's the opportunity for there to be a positional change. But what you can probably hear is that it's happening more uh, irregular. It's happening irregularly, uh, that there's an actual positional change. And that's something that's borne out by the scope here. OK, so these are 100 millisecond uh, divisions and let's get a bit closer what we can see is that it can take anywhere from like one division to you know four or eight six here or whatever it is um six time divisions or, or six times 100 milliseconds for there to actually be a pulse to the motor which forces a positional change. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to come back to that soon. But first, let's actually look at what one of these pulse trains looks like. Okay, stop right there. And I'll zoom in on this guy here. Yeah, this one is actually quite short. Uh, there's roughly, yeah, there's six there. There's six pulses, each one being about 400 milliseconds long out of a two millisecond period in order to force that next movement to happen. But I've seen these be as wide as, you know, 50 pulses. Okay, let's resume this motion. Okay, now, why would there be such an irregular pattern here? And my assumption is that it probably has to do with the potentiometer that provides positional feedback inside of the servo. You know, these are pretty cheap, uh, at least in these, you know, cheaper servos. And the signal, is, I think it's, you know, it's not that clean at any rate and let's have a look here i'm scoping that as well and you can see this is slowly decrementing as the servo uh, steps through the various positions and there it just returned to uh full um okay but i don't know if i can get any closer here you can see that there's noise on that signal. So for sure, there's got to be some logic in the uh, microcontroller, which tries to clean this up or, you know, uh, puts a band around it to say, you know, you have to be changed by X amount of, of uh, a factor of so much in order to actually count as a uh, positional change. So this being the output, this would only occur when, you know, we reach the average includes the new values or, or whatnot. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's some logic that says that determines when to pulse these things. Uh, and I believe that it's probably due to uh, an expected dirty signal, dirty feedback. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but this is all good and I'm not so worried about this because I'm using a really nice, uh, encoder, 
Um, and I was really just concerned with what it takes to make a, a motion. So we've seen, we've observed that. Uh, and it's something that looks very achievable. So I'm going to start moving into doing that uh, in Modi, replicating these patterns and see if we can get the, the stepping happening. So look for that soon enough, but I'm going to be away for a little while uh, for the holidays. So I probably won't get to that until maybe the new year. Okay, thanks. Bye.